Hey guys, so as anticipated, Apple has now released iOS 17.4 RC. The release candidate is now available to register developers and most likely soon available to public beta testers as well in the next couple of hours. And the download is approximately six and a half gigs of a download. I have to say that this software actually turned out to be bigger than anticipated. There's a lot to cover when it comes to iOS 17.4. I'm gonna give you guys a quick recap of what to expect with this one, but iOS 17.4 RC was released today. The latest build number, there it is, 21E217. And that's going to be the, basically the final build available in the next couple of days. Now, iPadOS 17.4 RC was also released today. Interestingly enough, if we go to macOS, macOS 14.4 is still sitting in beta 5. We also have tvOS 17.4 sitting in beta 5, visionOS 1.1, beta 4, and we have RC for older devices, so 16.7.6 RC and iPadOS 16.7.6 RC is also available. Now, as I mentioned, this turned out to be a massive update, which soon will be available for everyone. And I want to talk about the release date because I know a lot of you guys are anticipating this one. If history is any indication, this new major update should be available on the week of the 4th of March. Now, this is not confirmed information, but based on previous schedule, the 4th of March or later will most likely be when we can expect this software to release to the general public. Now, as I mentioned, this one turned out to be massive, starting with new emojis. Emoji Unicode 15.1 is now available with iOS 17.4. Some of the latest new emojis. One of my favorites is the new Phoenix. Uh, Apple also made some changes to the stolen device protection feature with this update. So if we go into settings here, we go into face ID and passcodes. If we go inside of the stolen device protection, we now have sort of a sub menu right here where you can click. And now you have the toggle and two options to choose when you want the security delay for stolen device protection or how you want that security delay to activate. So updates to stolen device protection with this update as well. We also have some updates for the EU. Now this is only for the EU, the ability to sideload applications, basically the ability to install apps from third-party app stores. This is only for the EU and the ability to choose default browser. So you can choose which browser will be your default. Again, that's outside of the US only for the EU. Now here in the US, we also get some updates to the podcast application. We get transcripts for podcasts, as you can see right here, very similar to what we get with Apple Music Lyrics. We also get some updates to widgets. We have a new city digital widget, which I really, really like. It's also available for standby if you want to use that. There's also some updates to Apple Music. So we have the monthly replay. So if we go into Apple Music, you'll find the monthly replay here. You can click and revisit those songs that you listen to the most every single month. And you also have the Listen Now is Now Home, which basically changes the Listen Now button to the Home button inside of Apple Music. Now there's also some changes happening to battery health for iPhone 15 owners. So if we go into settings here, we go under battery. We have now two options here where the split options here, we have battery health and charging optimization. So under battery health, we now have a battery status. Of course, this one is at normal. And we also have the capacity and cycles, manufacture date and first use date. So more information in regards to battery and battery health in general with iOS 17.4 as well, which is a welcome change. And iMessage gets a massive security update with P. Q3. So this is a state-of-the-art quantum secure messaging at scale. So I'll link this in the description down below. So Apple has updated the messages application in iMessage with major updates to security. So this one, it turned out, as I mentioned, to be a massive update should be available to the general public within the next couple of days in less than a week or about a week from now. So again, the week of the 4th of March, we can expect iOS 17.4 to be released to the general public. So again, guys, thank you for watching this quick update. Stay tuned for the official release and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.